I'm Jeremy. And I'm Gillian. Along with our two children, Jed and Sakaya, we are currently living in and exploring the South Island of New Zealand. Please join us on our adventures. We, we are, are one, one for, for the, the ride. Top of the morning to you guys. It's nice and early. Um, I got a message from my older brother last night asking if I wanted to go white baiting. So, of course I said yes, I've never been. I'm pretty keen to learn. So um, that's where we're off to this morning. I'm just getting ready and whatnot. I'm about to go start the car, let it warm up. It's, um, it's a bit chilly outside. We've got, what have we got this morning? Three degrees, feels like one. But it's supposed to be a sunny day, so that's pretty good. So I'm going to go start the car, warm it up, uh, boil the kettle, grab a cuppa and hit the road, I think. So I'll, um, I'll see you over at my brother's place. I'm going to go and pick up all the white baiting nets and that. I'll see you over there. It's a little um, bendy on the, yeah, oh, oh shit, that's broken. <laughs> uh, <laughs> um, just gotten to the river, we're starting to get the gear out and set it up. When we've got a bit more light, do the introductions and show you what it all is, but that's the gear anyway. Hopefully we get a bit more light soon I can show you what's going on. It's the white baiting net. This is called a Southland Sock. Southland Sock? Yeah. So the pole sits there and you can just pop that against the bank. Yeah, there's, there's a few the, extensions in that. The trap inside it, right? So they, they come in along there, they go on that trap, and then they... Once, once they're in yeah. that, it's um, pretty difficult for them to get out with yeah. the current and everything that goes through. Yeah, and they just work their way up the sides up to, and back down. So yeah. So, yeah, that's self-insock. Awesome. And then this little fella here with the floats, that'll clip on to where Nath is now, yeah. and that'll run along that way back towards the bank. Yeah, that's just so, called the screen. Yeah, sweet. So it's pretty much just like a cattle shoot. <laughs> they'll they'll all cruise along the riverbank, hit that, work their way along it, and in. Yeah, but you can sort the footage out because I put that on back. Yep. <laughs> okay, one more. So we've got a, a tail rope that sort of cruises down that way about 20 metres. Got the float there which will hold the back end of it up. 
so she's not just oh, yeah, going whatever. And then we'll have a rope from the front over towards that way, which should keep it all nice and straight. The pole, you can just pop them out as far as you need or want. And then, um, then I believe it's the waiting game. I don't know if there's too much more to go there, but. Make sure that so I can just slowly feed it out to you sort of thing, is that? Yeah, well, I've got the stake in there, so it shouldn't yeah. go away. But yeah. um, you'll probably, if, the, if anything, just need to tighten it. Yeah. To bring it round. Yeah, righto. So, let's cool. see how we go. All right. I'll just get back here and... Yeah, on the other side. Right, eh? <laughs> okay. Yep. Yep. Sweet. Let's go and have a look. Sorting the screen out, so the top top side's got floats, bottom side's got your sinkers, weights, and he's just sorting the ropes out for them now, keep them in place, but you should be able to see now, the front float there, there's a bit of a ring where you can see the front of the net, and the tail float, tail rope up to that bank. Um, do you need anything done with this front rope yet, or? Yeah, I'll sort that out. I think the back's going to actually need to come back a little bit more. Okay. Right. But, um... There's a weak kink in the net. I have to sort it out first. Yeah. Because I think it's... Uh, when it floated past itself. Ah, right. It's locked up. Not the uh, most efficient. That guy did it. One guy. <laughs> yeah. Taking five minutes. Yeah. After a few minor adjustments, we're all all good to go. The tide's still pushing out slowly, so we're just waiting on that turn of the tide. But yeah, so good as it's the lead rope there, tail ropes out the back, and she's all go. No, you're right. I was actually just about to talk to you. <laughs> this is my older brother Nathan. He's out here shown me the the ropes this is the first time he's been out in about 10 years too for a bit of a white bait so it's pretty cool this is the the river that our dad used to white bait pretty much all day every day in season about 30 years ago 
right here maybe what was it 33 years ago you reckon yeah. was probably the last time so yeah and he used to white bait about two or three hundred meters down there upstream so yeah it's pretty cool we're having a ball it's good the weather's finally turned it on it was a bit foggy and cold this morning but um beautiful now the river's looking nice and lazy and hopefully we can get the white bait on the run for the afternoon of the season. We're off to a fire. <laughs> Got a nice little haul then. Good little. Nice. Yeah, it's probably. Do you want to chuck all the ones in the big bucket in that and get fresh water in it? Or? No, she's a good. Yeah, this is good. just for draining most of the shit out. Okay. Oh, God. So that's a good one. If we can get another bloody six of those, we'll be happy. Yeah. Good little buck. Righto. First time pulling in the white bait net. Wish me luck. Here you go.
first net. Looks like it's okay. Might get that screen in a little bit, I'm not sure, but let's go check it out. Get good, first pole. Sweet. Plenty. That one's for Jillian. That's not bad. Same as before. Not more. Just pulling in the net for the last time today. And um, kids are going to help me with this one. They've just gotten off school, so. Now you win. Now you have the day off, did you? Just dressed up in the uniform. Now we got there for. We got out of school three hours ago. Three hours ago? No. No. I did. Alright, guys. Yeah. Grab that. Look out. Come on, Dad. Oh, just watch out, there's a lady walking behind. Hey guys, uh, this is take two of the white bait. Um, We've moved spot from yesterday, just a bit further upstream. We did pretty well yesterday, actually. Um, we were happy with it, but um, there's a few other people down there and uh, they'd been going to that spot for quite quite some time, so we thought we'd move up out of their way, find another spot. But um, yeah, we've checked the net three times, I think, today. We've gone better than what we did yesterday. There's quite a few white bait on the run, but um, yeah, we're happy with with how it's gone uh, I'll give you a quick look at what we've got in the bucket here not bad nice little ball of white bait down there um, yeah going real well be um, getting close to a pound I reckon be pretty close to a pound but, um, yeah this is it's really cool that I'm getting the chance to do this with my older brother um, he's sort of showing me the ropes of of how to do it and it's awesome because he hasn't done this in a good 10 or so years as well and um, <clears throat> if you look just back that way past the willows probably I'd say 200 meters from where we are now that was um, that was where my dad used to white bait about we worked it out probably 33 years ago was the last time he white baited there so um, it's really cool that I'm getting the chance now to to learn this uh, little setup, I guess, uh, white baiting um, in the exact same spot as my dad. It's pretty, it's pretty awesome. Um, yeah, it's so much fun. I'm not gonna lie, it's bloody cold. It's freezing. Um, the sun didn't come out today. Or we probably sat here, I'd say six hours uh, with no sun. It was just a, a heavy fog, and then after that, just scattered cloud that sort of just kept us in it was about two degrees all morning i think it's just sort of opened up now to be sitting probably five or six degrees but it's bearable now two degrees was shocking especially when you got to jump in the water and um set your nets and the sinkers and all of that sort of stuff and your tail ropes and your lead ropes and it's um it can be bloody cold work first up in the morning but um we're doing really well we've got another feed we'll be sharing this around to the family so um they'll be pretty stoked to get a, a feed out of it but um yeah i'm pretty happy that i'm getting a chance to to learn about it all because um not only did my my dad um white bait this river but my granddad my my mother's father he 
white baited for many years, had his own stand and all that sort of stuff, a couple of stands at the um, Aparima, which I guess as far as the crow flies is probably about 30 clicks that way. Um, uh, yeah, over there and and he, it was something he'd do every season for however many years. And um, so yeah, it's really cool that I'm getting the chance to learn how to white bait I'm, and I'm loving it. I love fishing. So anything to do with the water, it's cool. So yeah, I think um, the season's just started. So I think I'm gonna keep on with it and um, I'll just keep you updated. If, I don't know how much more footage of white baiting I'll put up. Uh, it just depends whose cup of tea it is and um, and if you're interested in it. But um, down here, they just love it. The, and the yeah, it's funny because um, you know, uh, no one ever tells the truth of what they actually got. So if you go up to someone, say down by the bridge, or oh, how did you go? They'll be like, oh, I only got, I only got a uh, two, three dozen. And uh, when in actual fact, they've probably got a bucket full. <laughs> but um, so yeah, it's more so to, to keep people from their spots and all that. But um, yeah, it's cool. I love it. It's um, it's fun. And I guess um, if you just treat them with a bit of respect, it'll go a long way and they'll have more time for you too. But um, yeah, which is cool. But uh, yeah, I'm going to leave it at that and um, keep an eye on this net. The tide's just turned. The tide's going out now, so um, just got to keep an eye for driftwood and other, other stuff coming back down the river. But beautiful. River's in really good nick at the moment. Um, it's been good i guess it's been a week or so since we've had rain so yeah it's cool anyway i'll leave you to it see you now you don't need a license to white bait in new zealand however there is a season it starts on the 15th of august and it goes through till the 30th of november white bait is very popular in new zealand the current price for half a kilo is approximately 60 dollars which is pretty insane to see the size of them. But it does make sense when you look at this video and see how much effort can go into it. Now there's plenty of ways to cook white bait. However, the most popular one that I've found down here in Southland is a white bait fritter, which is pretty much just like making an omelet. You just add egg and the white bait, mix them up and chuck them in the frying pan. It's that easy. My brother Nathan and I can't wait to get back white baiting. We had an absolute ball over the last two days. I'll be sure to keep you up to date on the One For The Road social media accounts. Also, if you could let me know any techniques that you might have for white baiting, drop them in the comments below and uh, I'll be sure to check them out and get back in touch with you straight away. All right, thanks guys, and we'll see you next week.